Hi everyone, it's Ecomman12 and welcome to my continued coverage of the Asus ePad Transformer. Today we'll be looking at the YouTube application. And before I kick things off, just to let you know, the reason the audio sounds different is because I am now using the internal microphone on the Kodak PlaySport. That's why you'll hear some differences in the audio quality. Now, let's uh, get on with the video. Let's enter the YouTube application. And it presents itself very nicely. This is all my subscription videos. And if you're not signed in, it'll just show most viewed or featured videos. Now, uh, you can, uh, this is home right here, browse. So you can uh, you look for categori categories on uh, videos. You can search videos through categories. Uh, this week, top rated, your channel, which will take me to my channel. It tells you your channel views, up how much videos you uploaded, and subscribers at the side over here. And then here will show all of your videos. So let's tap into one of my videos right here. You can increase the volume with the rockers at the side, then you can also drag this bar across. And you can increase the screen size as well. Let's just increase the volume. Okay, so that's one. Now you can also search for YouTube videos. Let's just search Geekanoids. This is a channel I watch co uh, on a regular basis. Um, definitely check uh, Dave's videos out. Let's tap on one. And you can increase the screen size as well. And you can scrub through the video. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, big thanks to Dave for giving me permission to uh, de uh, demonstrate his video in this uh, YouTube application. And also, uh, the link to his channel will be in the video description, so definitely check his channel out. He's got some excellent uh, coverage on there. But anyway, yes, this is the uh, YouTube application. You can obviously comment on videos as well, so if I just quickly show you right here, you can go uh, and comment on videos right here. Uh, and then you can tap this and it'll bring up all these things right here and then you can just press enter and they'll uh, very very quickly uh, bring your comment in there Bri and you can also type your comments right over here now I'm not going to do that and y you can also look at related videos right here so overall a very nice uh, experience this YouTube app I really like uh, this little gr sort of grid it does right here as well when you start f flicking through uh, all your videos in this sort of grid. Much not, uh, feels very very nice and uh, in my opinion does feel a bit better than uh, what you would get on the iPad, the iPad's YouTube application. Now if you tap on uh, a search, what I also like is that you can uh, look for latest videos. Videos that were uploaded today, this week, this month or all time. So let's go to this month. Now we'll show Dave's videos that he's uploaded from this month. If I want to see his newer ones this week, or if I want to see ones that he's uploaded today, I just press today, and it'll show them all. So I really like that. Something uh, I'm not sure if the iPad has it, because uh, I haven't got an iPad. But uh, um, something that the uh, Android Android operating system has over Apple's iOS is that you can do this. Uh, you ch uh, check by all time today, this week, this month, and uh, for someone like me, I, I, f I find it very very useful. Okay everyone, that was the YouTube application video. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for as my next video will be uh, how Flash works on this tablet. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.